Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my little Disney series. I haven't really been filming much because I've just been taking it all in. Today, I thought I would film a little bit of a get ready with me, how I do my makeup for a day at a Disney park. It's really simple. It's basically just my everyday makeup routine with a little bit of extra like pizzazz on the top. Love a bit of pizzazz. What is my hair doing? I don't even know. Anyway, excuse my face, by the way. I just woke up. I'm going to show you how I get ready for a day at a Disney Disney Park. So if you're interested in watching that, stick around. So the first thing that I'm going to do is wash my face and do like a little bit of a skincare routine. The first thing that I use is the Nivea Daily Essentials Gentle Exfoliating Scrub. and washed it off my face. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of sunscreen. Cause obviously when you're at the Disney parks, it is Florida, so it gets very hot. It's not hot at the moment, it's very cold. But usually in Florida, it gets fucking hot. So I'm gonna make sure that you put on some sunscreen. It does make my face quite greasy, but I just put on a little bit to make sure that I'm not getting any extra freckles because I already have enough. Okay, once that's done, I'm gonna go and brush my teeth, but I'm gonna do it off camera because you get it. You know how to wash your teeth. So when I brush my teeth, this is the toothpaste I use. It's the White Glow Professionals Choice. It's really good. They have like a ton of different formulas for like different things. Um, they have everything. I've been using this for years and it's really, really good. Um, so I just brush my teeth with that. And then I also use the White Glow Earl Powder for teeth whitening. Um, and I sprinkle a little bit of that on my toothpaste to help keep them fresh and white. Obviously, like you want white teeth. You don't want yellow as fuck teeth in all of your photo pass photos. I know what you do at pass, but I take photos. So I want white teeth. Okay, I'm all done cleaning my teeth. Nice and white and fresh. I don't know why, but I'm like obsessed with oral hygiene. I have been since I was like 15. I've been like anal about it. I don't know. I think it's just something I personally really value is having nice fresh teeth, motherfucker. The Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 230. Just take a little bit of that on the back of my hand. There's other people staying in this house and like if they can hear me, that's so embarrassing. But anyway, I just take that and like paint it onto the face. This is literally a very light liquid foundation, light to medium coverage. I'm just taking a very thin layer and just patting that all over my skin. So once that's done, I'm gonna go in over the top with some stick foundation from Makeup Revolution. And I'm just gonna go over the parts that I think need more coverage. And then also on my eyelids. Just blend that out with a sponge. I just think. So once the foundation is on, I'm going to go in with concealer. I just take this underneath the eye. You are my night and day. My I take a little bit in the socket of my lid. In the center of the forehead. You're so perfect. Just to highlight those areas of the face. And then I'll blend that out with the same sponge. After concealer, I set that in place with Laura Messier translucent setting powder. The best powder on the market. Let's be honest. have been using this for a while now and honestly, like, I don't think I'll ever switch. It's so good. It lasts so long. Like, there's so much product in there. And that looks like cocaine. I want to start a family. Want some? And I literally just set the areas where I put the concealer. Because you don't want your makeup to sweat off or crease. When you're in the parks, obviously. So I would definitely recommend Laura Messier translucent setting powder because it locks it in all day. Um, the next step, Astralis Fresh and Flawless. This is a foundation powder. I only just tried this, but it is life-changing. Like, it just makes your face look so flawless. Mine is in the shade Deep Tan. Um, and I got it a little bit darker than my face just because I wanted to add, like, obviously a little bit of tan. But I just pack that in all of the areas that I didn't just set with the other powder. Perfect. Once that's done, I go in with bronzer. This is the bronzer that I use. It's Maybelline Dream Sun. I 
like to take it obviously down the cheekbones and then I'll take it up the side of the face and I'll bronze up the forehead just on the side just to like sculpt it forward make it look skinny and snatched contour it a little because I don't know I can't contour my nose properly to save my life so I just like bronze it a little bit and it kind of makes it look smaller. Down the neck. Next I'm going to do blush. This is the one I'm using from Mecca Max. It is in the shade Chic Cheek. Trying to use the whole pan. I did Epcot, then Magic Kingdom, then I did Hollywood Studios, then Epcot yesterday. Also, I'm doing Animal Kingdom tomorrow with my friend, so. I'm just taking a bit of a break. Once I've done that, I'm gonna go in with some eyeshadow. This is the shade that I use, it's called Happy. It's the perfect crease shade. I'm gonna go into Epcot later because I do have fast passes for Frozen and Mission Space, even though you don't really need a fast pass for Mission Space. But I'm gonna go ride those and then I'm gonna stay for the fireworks because last night I didn't stay because it was way too cold. So I'm gonna go watch Epcot forever. And then tomorrow is gonna be a big day because I'm hanging out with my friend Danny that I worked at Spaceship Earth with and we're doing Animal Kingdom. And then the day after that, Allison is here, so yay. I'm gonna do a lid color. Now. I'm gonna go with Kilowatt, which is this really nice, like shimmery copper. Highlight the inner corner with a highlight shade. Now I'm gonna set the brows with the 24 hour brow setter. This is the best brow gel I've ever used. It's like hairspray for your eyebrows. It's incredible. Some days I put highlighter on. I'm not gonna put it on today. My signature red lip. I take a lip liner, retractable one, Maybelline Color Sensational. I kind of just do something like that, like a little cross at the top, just to like shape it. Okay, once I've lined the lips, lipstick, which is in my bag, I take my Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Red Rum, which is like a really good red. Now I would highly recommend um. wearing a liquid li liquid lipstick to the park just because they dry down and so if you're going to be eating things, drinking things, talking a lot, like moving your lips all day. It's not going to rub off as easily as a normal lipstick would. And Jeffree Star obviously has the best formula, so. And then if you stuff up the edges, you just go back in with your lip liner and fix it up. And that is how I do my red lip. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. You are my night and day, my day and night. You're everything I could dream up or dream of. You're so perfect. You give me unconditional love and I can never replace you. You're the ice to my drink, the light to my switch, the lyrics to my rap, the stars in my night sky, the reason I'm alive. <laughs>